out dudes welcome back to the 92 f1 build today we're finishing up that center console we just got the dash out so you can finally see what we've been working on so this is the center console that's kind of been hiding behind the dash this whole time this is what we've built so we got that tube across went up and attached this tab off the shifter and we did the same thing on the other side and you can see this piece curling back to the tab we got to do one of those for this side so it's just going to come around, wrap back, and then weld on the back side of this plate that mounts the dash. And so I cleaned up this tube, and we just got to make that piece now. And that's the last piece we have to do while this whole structure is in the cab. So once that's done, we'll break the tacks down here, and the ones that go to this tab, and then the whole structure will come out, and we'll weld it. So the center console is now all welded. It's just sitting on a metal bench so the heat can just disperse, and they can cool off a little bit quicker. But I got those end caps, as you can see. I just I drilled them out with a hole saw and then we tacked them on and fully welded them so i got all of them on the whole thing so this is going to cool and then we're going to have to paint it and then we'll weld it completely into the truck and then it'll be done while christian was welding that i was doing a couple things for one i drilled out the end caps for that i also got this plate right here all cut out and i got the holes drilled on it and that's going to be for this guy right here which is the mount for the gps on the passenger side and the way we're going to mount this it's going to be hard mounted as well so however it sits in the dash, it may be here, maybe here, I don't really know because the dash isn't in here. But from the back side, there's going to be two tubes going off and landing on the dash bar. And that's what's going to hold this all together in the dash. And if you remember us having problems with the uh, starter not fitting, we got a new one that you can actually clock. If you can see it, there's three holes right here. And that's what allows us to rotate it. And it came in the middle originally, which is actually what worked on this motor. So everything clears and I got this bolted in. I put a anti-seize on the bolts in case we ever need to take them out. They'll come out pretty smoothly, but they're just tight in there. I haven't yet torqued them down. I'll get to that in a little bit later. I'm glad that starter works though. I'm stoked we don't have to send back another one. So we just got it all dealt with. We don't have to worry about the starter anymore. This came in the mail with the starter. This is just to run the two oil lines to the front oil cooler. It's just a block that bolts onto your motor block and it just comes with a gasket. And I'll just have to put a little bit of anti-seize on here once I put this in. But it just goes straight in there. And then all we'll have to do is make the lines to the front oil cooler. All right, so we're working on getting this GPS mounted for the passenger side. Um, we got the passenger seat all in here. It's just, we have the bolts there, but it's not like completely bolted in. It's just, yeah, it's just sitting in there. <laughs> so what we had to do is right here in the dash, we notched it out with just like a router. And then that made it so this plastic piece that I showed you earlier could slide through from the backside. And we tightened it from this side. And so that's just sitting in there right now. It looks good from the passenger's perspective. So in the morning, we're gonna have to go get hardware to mount this plastic piece to that plate that I made. And then we're also gonna have to get more tubing to run it to the dash bar so we can get everything welded and it's actually mounted rather than sitting in here. Good morning, it's day two of this video. Christian and I just got back from IMS and ACE. We ended up getting uh, more tubing. Again, it's just one inch 95 wall. And so we got a total of 10 feet of that. And we also got hardware to mount that plastic piece for the GPS to that plate that I made. So now we're working on getting the tubes wrapped up that are gonna attach it to the dash bar. And here's one right here. I just got it all notched out and prepped. So we're about to tack this one in. So part of the GPS will be done. And then we just gotta make one for the other side. So there's a total of two tubes attaching the GPS to the dash bar. We got the center console all burned in and everything's painted in the truck. We just went to a competitive metals earlier and got some metal. We got all the aluminum for the paneling. This is just uh, some 16 gauge aluminum right here. And this is gonna be to panel in everything on the truck. So like all this is gonna be paneled in. We have a bead roller and some shears to be able to cut everything and kind of roll into it. So that's all on its way and we'll be able to panel the back half of the truck. Um, for probably, honestly, the last two hours, I've been trying to get like the dash in and the shifter in. 
but everything's been kind of a pain. I've had the dash in one time, or actually twice, but I've been just having to clearance everything out to get the shifter to fit back in, because once everything got welded, everything got warped just a little bit. So I've been working on getting everything to line up again. Um, I do have to drill out these holes a little bit to get everything to work, but I've been working on getting this all to fit for probably two hours by myself. But it's been kind of a long, slow process, but I'm hoping to get it in tonight. I probably won't put that on the camera. But yeah, that's probably gonna be it for this video. We got the center console all complete. We got the GPS mounted. We went and got a lot of metal to do the back half of the truck. And we also got the starter and the oil block for the motor. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I try to make it a little bit shorter than the last video because 18, 19 minutes is a little bit long. So hopefully this one's around 10. That's my goal <laughs> for every video. But if you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.